Figma has finally launched an AI design tool. It's called Jambot and it can quickly allow you to do some real cool stuff inside Figma. Let's go through all the features and capabilities of Jambot and how you can use it in your own design practice. So for this one, if you come inside Figma and you click on this plus icon to start a new project, you will have to start a new FigJam file. Now you'll see an empty file here, but you won't see Jambot anywhere. And I was confused initially as well. But if you go inside here into this little widgets panel, inside widgets, you will find your recent one, which is Jambot, or you can search for Jambot from here. You can drag and drop Jambot inside Figma. Now Jambot works very seamlessly as a widget in FigJam, and I'll show you how you can start using it. Just to give you a good idea, let's start with a quick question. Now a quick question will bring up a little text here. This could be your own data. So for example, you're working on a food delivery app and you need to see the top 10 restaurants in your city or in India. And inside this, you can ask anything about the top 10 restaurants. You can say, name them. It'll give you the names of the top 10 restaurants. And if I say, ask it, it'll do its magic. And immediately it gives me a list of all the top restaurants in India. Top 10 restaurants in India include a variety of popular establishments and it's also explaining things. Now this is where Figma is excelling. Now it will give you other things you can do with this data. So right here we have teach me about this rabbit hole and summarize. So if I want to get a summary of this description, I can always say summarize as a bullet point or TDLR. I can say, okay, as bullet points and it will show up as bullet points. Points. I can always rewrite this as an email to somebody. So if I say, write an email to my clients. So if this is a client project, it'll go to my clients and it will write according to your requirements. Since this is a client email, it will start with dear valued client. I hope this message finds you well. I wanted to take a moment to share with you some exciting dining options. You can even turn this further into something fun like a joke, a song, a poem. So if you're doing a fun activity with your team, this could be super useful. Now comes the other exciting bit of Jambot. There's something called code this up. Now, anything that you imagine, you can now convert into code using this. So if I want a button which grows on hover, huh, something that a designer would think of, and then I write in the programming language I want here. So it could be something like in HTML and CSS. Just giving it the basic instructions and it'll start coding it for me. As you can see, it's given the HTML for a hover button with some inline CSS, as you can see here. And this is this code works. So you can always copy this into code pen or whatever and try it out for yourself. Now, if you don't understand code like this, which a lot of designers don't, there is a feature called teach me about this, which can be anything, which can be large amounts of data or text. It could be code. Now let me quickly introduce you to something called rabbit hole. Rabbit hole is possibly the curious designer's nightmare as well as best friend. <laughs> so here, if I say rabbit hole, I can write anything here. I can write, I can write UX principles. Okay. And it will go deeper into this and you can then study about user research, information architecture, usability testing. So it, it picks up a basic topic and then it takes deeper perspectives into it and gives you that deeper perspective. You can keep on doing this and as a rabbit hole states, rabbit hole is something you keep on falling down. You keep on going down this rabbit hole and here it just keeps on going. Then there's things, things something like eye tracking. You can choose that. It will give you eye tracking definition and what it is. You go again and under eye tracking, it can do eye tracking technology. It can do improving visual hierarchy, analysis of eye tracking data. So this is the never ending learning tool that everyone's been waiting for and the way it's executed is perfect. Now who would think that ideation can be done with AI? Well, with this, it can be. You can write anything. So here it says cutesy ice cream flavors. So ice cream flavors. Let's ideate around ice cream flavor names and descriptions. Cookie Monster Crunch, a blueberry ice cream with a chunks of chocolate chip cookies and a swirl of cookie dough. How interesting. So it's writing down stuff for you based on this and you can do anything with this. You can say ideate 
any one of these and then it can go in more in detail. Last but not the least, you can actually make your own AI, so as to say. Under custom, you can write your own sort of prompts and based on the data there is, it will do a certain action. So in this example, I am asking it to create me an elevator pitch to raise money for my idea, which is we've found the cure for insomnia. So if I click on run, it will then read this and kind of do the action that there is here. So I've created a revolutionary solution to cure insomnia with our cutting edge technologies, blah, blah, blah. So you get the gist of it. I would suggest start practicing on this on your own. Someone very smart once said, a designer will not be replaced by AI, but a designer will be replaced by another designer who knows about AI. So if you want to learn more about AI, I think there's a great tool to start off from. It's basic, it's easy to know, easy to understand, and it doesn't have all those weird jargons around AI. It's simple and it's elementary. Let me know in the comments below what were your thoughts about this update. I will see you every week just like this. So until next time, take care, God bless.